Throw a stone in a pond Watch it ripple forever on Ooh, her face felt like glass Maybe once Okay, so we're here with Alex and Sander from um, Oedipus. We're sat in the uh, brew pub, or what will be the brew pub in the future, right? Yeah. <laughs> and we're about to taste some of their beers. So when did you guys start? When um, was Oedipus born? Three years ago. Almost three years ago. Almost three years ago, yeah. Uh, before that, we hung out at the, at the same beer bars a lot. Kind of rediscovered our friendship through beer. So, guys, tell us what we've got here. Okay, cool. So, we've got four beers here. Um, small selection from what we, uh, we brew. We've got our Mandeliefde, our Lekkerbeck with us, uh, Tai Tai Triple, and the Gaia IPA. So, what is your vision for this place? So, people can come here, visit, taste the beer. Exactly that, yeah. Good times, good beer, good food, good music, good art, friendly people. Generally speaking, uh, we like beers that are more on the dry and sort of the sweet side, so yeah, you can see that in our beers. Okay, we're at the Bakud sister. We're here with Wesley, our brewer. So, Wesley, talk to us a little bit about the uh, Bakud sister. Uh, this brewery was built in 1992. Uh, back then, it had another name. It was called uh, Maximilian. In about 2004, it uh, changed to uh, the setup which is it today, uh, the Bakud sister. And since then, we made our beers. Uh, the same beer still since we make uh, in 2004 and uh, those are three beers a uh, blonde beer uh, triple and a wheat beer and sometimes we have seasonal beers or uh, one special occasion beers or whatever and that's basically what we do what we got here uh, what we got here is a uh, blonde beer it's our uh, most uh, easy beer to drink uh, that's the triple mm -hmm. and that's uh, more heavy in alcohol that's 7.2 percent so uh, more full in body uh, a little more bitterness very uh, spicy in its flavor there, there's a bit of orange peel used in the beer and that gives it a bit of citric sour flavor yeah. that's the spring beer full more caramel flavored and very fresh and drinkable, uh, nice beer for spring. So this place was founded by a guy who was a big lover of, of the Belgian style beers. It was the early 80s, wasn't very well known by then, uh, but he had a band and he played in Belgium as well. So he discovered those Belgian styles there and then he just started to experiment, build his own installation and started brewing Belgian style beers. So it just started with a focus on the Belgian scene. So uh, early 80s, he started here 86, that's when it opened, yeah, 1986. Yeah, and so then it was uh, basically the, the first guy in Amsterdam who brewed Belgian-style beers in an Amsterdam-based brewery. Uh, this is our blonde triple, the Zotte. That was actually the first one that was ever brewed here. Okay. Uh, typical Belgian-style blonde triple, 8% but quite soft and sweet and smooth in taste. And then we've got a wheat beer. This is always a big hit in summer, obviously. Eibit, uh, we, we brew with a bit of lemon and a bit of grinded coriander seed. Uh, and then we've got a Columbus, which is a heavy amber-colored blonde, 9%, but that's very nice balance between not bitterness and sweetness. Uh -huh. Also one of our classic beers. They want a big place next to the brewery where everybody can see what the guys are doing there and have the product that they're making there just in front of them. We have very, very good burgers, so we want people to come here and have our burgers, have a beer with it, have a good time. 
and have an experience. And how long have you been open? Uh, almost three months. Oh, just three months? Yes. And how's business so far? It's yeah, very today. good, yes. So we have three beers here, um, the IPA, the um, Bison and the Blonde. Okay. What should we start with? The uh, blonde? The blonde. Go for it. Yeah, that's... Um, I quite like that, actually. It's a little bit stronger than a normal uh, blonde beer. Okay, on to the uh, Bison. 50% wheat and very German, it says here. That's actually, that's actually pretty bitter for a wheat beer. Your favourite? The IPA. The IPA. That's quite... It's got a really, really <laughs> strong aftertaste. It's quite aromatic at first. And then in the end, it's like a it trails off with yeah, yeah. a kind of bitter kick.